Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're going to learn about Gradio authentication. So Gradio is one of the popular web frameworks for us to design ML applications, ML demos easily just in a couple of lines of Python code. And as people started using Gradio a lot for stable diffusion and all these EA art and recent language models, one thing that we stopped paying attention is the authentication and the security. If you have noticed, Gradio recently made a change about how their public URLs are displayed. Earlier, it was just a numeric number which anybody could have brute forced had they had like enough computation power to brute force or if you are also running a very powerful application to access your application. But now they, 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 they have changed the way they do the encoding and then the URL has um, got, um, you know, both alphabets and character numbers, which means it's not very easy for anybody to brute force. I mean, unless like... Uh, somebody really wants to hack into your system. Now, the problem here is anybody who has got this link can access your application. That's something that people often forget, like whether I'm making a tutorial, whether you're putting a screenshot on Twitter or LinkedIn, any anywhere, if somebody has got this URL, they can access your application. They can just click this link wherever it is and that will open your application. And sometimes it means you are going to share your computation power with somebody or, uh, you know, you're opening up your system to somebody. So that's uh, that's something that we need to keep in mind about how we are sharing these links. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how you can create an authentication layer, like a username password layer for your Gradio application that can protect your link from these kind of people. For example, if you share the link, still you can share a set of username password and that will be required for anybody to log in and access your application rather than having a link and then accessing it. So that's what I'm going to focus in this video. It's going to be a very short video. Um, first step, of course, install the Gradio application. And then once you have the Gradio application, let's assume that you have imported Gradio. You've got a very simple function that takes an input. Uh, like for example, if you say one little coder, and then it's going to give a very simple output. So this is a very simple Gradio application. What I'm going to show you is how you can take this Gradio application, which is an interface class based application, and then convert into an application where they are going to ask username password to the user and they have to enter the username password correctly to access the application and like i said gradio has already made a uh, one layer of effort in um, preventing url brute forcing like the like they have made it difficult or almost impossible i shouldn't say impossible almost very very difficult for anybody to guess your link and then access it previously it could have been slightly easier given that it was only numeric but now they've already made this change based on the community request i'm showing you to add one more layer for example you are building a gradio application at your workplace or you are building a gradio application that you want to share it with only a particular employer or potential employer or you are building a gradio application you want to share it with your co-workers but you don't want to possible for others to access it based on the url leak or anything so for that what you can do is you can access something called username password radio as you know first you build the gradio interface and inside interface, you have got inputs, you have got outputs, then you have got a function, right? So after you have this thing, so this is your Gradio interface. Let me write a Gradio interface separately. So I can call it INF and then I can write it. So now we have a Gradio interface, which is, which is exactly the same like what we have before. Once we have the Gradio interface, what we typically do is we launch the Gradio interface. We launch it using dot launch. So now what I'm suggesting is instead of just simply doing a dot launch, I'm asking you to add a parameter called auth and the argument auth has got a couple of ways to take a value. So one easiest approach is to have a tuple a tuple, however you call it with username and password. So in this case, the username is user, the password is admin. We are trying to see if the link is available with anybody who is not the intended recipient of the link. Can they still access your Gradio application? That is the problem we are trying to solve. So in your code, even though it looks like this at the end user side, they are not going to see anything like this. And you can also add an authentication message. The message would be displayed on the login page. So I can say enter your username pass password that you received in a separate email. For example, if I'm going to share it in a share it with a potential employer or if I'm going to share it with my coworkers, I can have this message like I can say enter your username and password that you received on Slack, something like this on Slack. And when I launch this Grady application, now unlike directly opening this application, it's going to give me a URL. But once you click the URL, it is going to take me to a login page, an authentication page. And once this application is launched, 
you can see so we have got a url so you can see that there is a login page and it says enter your username and password that you received in on slack sorry sorry about that so now i can come here and then say user and the password is admin and then i can enter and that is going to take me to the actual gradio application so i can come here type the name on little coder type enter and then it says on little coder take it now when i refresh this again it is not asking me because i've already opened it if i open a different browser for example let me copy this link okay and i'm going to go to brave and i'm opening a new browser when i open a new browser and that it is going to ask me for username and password and again and now instead of giving the right username i typed user but in the password i am typing password and i am typing enter and it says in current credentials and it doesn't open for me so this is one of the easiest ways to secure your gradio application from anybody accessing just because you know you post some screenshot or um, you share the url with somebody even for example for for that matter if i am making a tutorial even after the tutorial is finished um, this link would be accessible unless like if it, if it is running on my local machine and anybody can access that link and then try to access my local machine which is not really good for security purposes so what i'm suggesting is if you are going to make a stable diffusion related gradio application or if you are going to make any gradio application um that is going to access or leverage gpu or collab or anything please get into the habit of using authentication um if you plan to share the link with somebody so this will definitely help you in adding one extra layer of security for your gradio application other than appreciating the fact that gradio team has already updated the way url is written other than that even if your url is present with somebody they still have to reach out to you for username and password to log in to your gradio application and that is a very good extra layer of security to have I hope this tutorial was helpful to you in securing or adding an authentication layer for your Gradio application. To quickly summarize, what we are simply doing is inside launch we are adding an argument called auth which takes a tuple, tuple with username and password and also an authentication message that will enable your Gradio application to have one authentication layer at the top. I hope this was helpful to you in securing your Gradio application. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.